So goes Guest. And no argument about that from Tom Guest, who meant that run. And the crowd responded to it. Here's Evans to uh, Tiesi. Fuga. That's it! That's what, Nick, that's what Guest gives you, isn't it? Here's Evans. Monia. It might be in front of him here. He's monitoring. knew when he took that ball he was going under the post there fantastic finish from one of the most improved players in England to lose they're dawdling they're idling they're not here yet but can they grab something before half time it will be typical of them as we said earlier suddenly they can burst into life with no prior warning but Adam Roland is policing this breakdown and making sure that there's a fast game. And Danny Kerr is very fast, and he's going to win the race for this ball. Is he? No! Oh, so close! Agonising for Kerr. Oh, that would have summed up the difference between the teams. Danny Kerr does this better than anyone in England. Kelleher left for dead, and he's losing his balance as he just goes for it. Nadar. Now where is this going to land? Too close to Evans. Well, not if the bounce of the ball has anything to do with it. And it's back in the hands of Nadar. He sets it back. Monya comes in, picked up by Dongi. Calamity for Harlequins. Dongi underneath the post. So often we seem to lose, create something from nothing. But that's a nothing kick, and from it comes something. Yeah, Medard chases it up. The tackle is made by Kerr. The ball comes out. Dongi just clips his foot there. The Satoir with a lose drive. It's broken away, and Harlequins don't have the men to stop it. There it is. Try number two for Toulouse. Are they missing their captain, Will Skinner, and his organisation, organisational capacities? Yes. Here's Strettle. Kerr. Evans. Brown. Monia's after this. Monia's after this! And suddenly, the memories of Stan. The fullback and David have no chance there. Monia, he is so sharp. Well, Elisard has departed and joking apart. He has clearly had an issue in this match. And he's getting a consoling tap on the head and a rub on the shoulders to say, well done. Number four. Off the bench and through the post for Michelak to lose in front. So that's not the most convincing pass. Tiesi tried to pick it up, Rob Shaw did. Yes, loser. It's on left and Kerr's got it to take it left. Guest decides to go straight. That felt like a gamble, there were men out wide, Kerr's chipping, and Josie Oran is catching. Oh, it was a chance. It was a big chance. Mishawak hurting from the miss, he's gone for the long-range drop goal, it's not a bad effort, oh, he's hit the bar. Now where's this one going to bounce? To Mike Brown. That was a nervous kick from Brown. Here's the drop goal attempt. Look at that. It's like a pole vault, a high jump moment, isn't it? You brush the bar. 
In all honesty, did they get back into the game, Ugo, or did you leave the door ajar? Oh, we certainly left the door ajar. Um, you look at the first 10 minutes of the second half and they scored two easy tries. You know, we worked really hard to get our points on the board and to give away two soft tries against a world-class team like that, you know, you're going to have your backs against the wall.